how to add up fractions. Okay, so I'll do three examples. So let's say we have 3 over 2 plus 6 over 4. And it's actually the same to the same information, so 5 over 3. Okay. And what is that going to be? Well, we cannot add up these two numbers, like in a single fraction, these two numbers. The thing is, when you add up uh, fractions, you have to take them to the same, you may have to make them the same denominator. That means you have to take this fraction and this fraction, and with both fractions, you first of all have to make sure that the denominator of both of them will be the same. And you can make this happen to whatever two fractions, okay? You can make this uh, happen to whatever two fractions unless there is some uh, ir irrational number and so on. But even even then, you can basically modify both, both of them. But, but we're talking of normal numbers, okay? So, um, if you have uh, such, such two fractions, to add them up, you have to make sure that the denominator is the same. What can you do to a fraction? You can multiply both the upper value or the upper number and the lower number by the same number. Okay, that's what you can do to a fraction. When you have three halves, um, you can multiply. That means basically the the, 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 the the quotient three over two or three divided by two. Okay. But that will be the exact same as if we multiply this by 2 and this by 2, so 6 over 4. Exactly the same. The, the, the equal sign does show us that these two are equivalent. And if you were to simplify this one, you will get back to this one. So what we have to do is use the, the property that we can multiply both the upper number and the lower number by the same number and get both of these to the same denominator, to the same number in the, in the, in the, in the place below. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, I think what we need to get in both cases is 6 in the bottom. Okay, 6 in the bottom. So how do we achieve that? Well, to get 6 out of 2, we have to multiply by 3. So that means we will also have to multiply by 3 the 3. We will multiply the entire fraction by 3. Uh, uh, but, but in the way that it will be equivalent, not that we will only uh, multiply this one, but we will multiply this and this as well. Okay, so it will be 9 over 6. Okay, so this is equivalent. And then plus, we have to uh, get this to be 6. So we will multiply both the upper side and the lower side by 2. Okay? 3 by 2 is 6. 5, by two, uh, five times 2 is 10. And now that we have the same denominator, we can add up the numerators. Okay, 9 plus 2 in a single fraction. And the denominator will be here, the 6. Okay, so we have to just make sure that the bottom number is the same and then you can add up the arguments of the upper side. And then you can make it a single fraction. So we got uh, 19 over 6. Okay, so that was our first example. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this one will be done quicker. I can say 3 over 5 plus 7 over 4. Now, we have to take again it to the, to the, to the smallest to be simpler the smallest common denominator and that will be 20 okay so we have to multiply both this and this by 4 to get 20 in the bottom so uh, 12 over 20 and then we have to multiply this one both uh, bottom and uh, the lower number by 5 to get 20 in the uh, bottom again we have to have the same number and then 25 so we get n of these two 47 over 20 okay so that's it. And the third one, last one, will be 1 over 2 plus uh, 8 over um, 5. So, what do we have to do? We have to get both of the bottom numbers to be the same. We can achieve that by taking the individual fractions and multiplying both the lower and the upper, upper and lower number by the same numbers, by the same number. So we have to get 10 below, okay? Uh, we can get 20, that's also common. Uh, we, can, we can get that with both of these, uh, simply. But, but, but uh, 10 is the simplest way to go. So we will multiply both this and this by 5 to get 10 in the bottom and 5 in here. And then this by 2 and this by 2, so we get 16 over 10. 
So what do we get? N of these two, 21, and the bottom is going to be the same as in both of these cases, so 10. Okay? So always think about the, re the, 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 the reason why we have fractions. It's like division. It's like division. And so when, when, you, have, when you have different divisors yeah, in the quotient, which is the fraction kind of, uh, then you cannot just add up the things. But once you divide by the same thing, you can add up the upper sides and then divide by the same thing for both of them. That means adding up the two uh, modified uh, upper sides and then getting the 10 in the denominator, simplifying the upper side. Okay, so if you uh, did not catch it, play it again and you'll see, try it yourself.